Okay, good, good morning. Um, so I'm Sylvie Benzoni, the director of this institute, and it's, very, it's an honor and a great pleasure to welcome you this morning for this beautiful event. We have uh, really a, a wonderful program today, so uh, it's a pleasure also to uh, introduce uh, Lisa uh, over us, <laughs> the president of uh, the Norwegian Academy of Science and Letters. She's going to deliver a speech before we can and go on with the scientific program. So welcome and uh, thank you. So thank you so much. Um, dear director, distinguished speakers, ladies and gentlemen and friends of mathematics. It is a great pleasure for me as the president of the Norwegian Academy of Science and Letters to open this symposium, Abel in Paris. First, I would like to thank the director of the Henri Poincaré Institute, Sylvie Bensoni, for hosting this symposium, and also the research director at CNRS, Alice Guionet, who is also a member of the Abel Committee, for organizing this symposium on the occasion of the meeting Abel in Paris. I would also like to address especially thanks to the 2017 Arbor Laureate, Professor Emeritus Yves Meyer, for taking part in this symposium and for giving this speech. For the last two days, the Arbor Committee has met at the French Academy here in Paris to select this year's Arbor Prize Laureate. On March 20th, 2024, I will have the privilege of announcing the name of the 2024 laureates in the Norwegian Academy at 12 noon Central European time. The announcement can be followed online on the Abel Prize webpage. The upcoming award ceremony will take place in the Oslo University Ola at May 21st, where the laureate will receive the prize from His Majesty King Harald of Norway. There will be an extensive scientific and social program during the Arbor Week in Oslo, and we hope to see many of you there. The Arbor Prize was established by the Norwegian government in 2002 on the 200th anniversary of the birth of Nils Henrik Abel, Norway's most famous mathematician. His achievements were exceptional. He died, however, very young at the age of 26, shortly before he was offered a chair position in Berlin. The Abel Prize is financed by the Norwegian Ministry of Education and Research, administered and awarded by the Norwegian Academy of Science and Letters, which I am pleased to represent here today. The prize comprises uh, an award of seven and a half million Norwegian kroner, which is approximately 640,000 euros. The main objective of the Abel Prize is to recognize pioneering scientific achievements in mathematics, including mathematical aspects of computer science, mathematical science, mathematical physics, probability, numerical analysis, and scientific computing, statistics and application of mathematics in science. When you look at the list of the Abel Prize laureate from Jean-Pierre Serre and Andres Schmeredi to Andrew Wiles and Karen Ullebeck, I should think you must agree that the Abel Prize does indeed recognize pioneering achievements in mathematics. Those of you who have been to the Abel Prize events in Oslo will know that we honor and celebrate the laureates in many ways. The award also gets ample international publicity. Alfred Nobel would not establish a prize in mathematics because, in his opinion, mathematics had no practical impact. He was wrong. Today's society needs mathematicians. Mathematical knowledge is absolutely necessary in order to deal with today's infrastructure, buildings, communication systems, banking, insurance, the internet, and everything else. One challenge today is to get enough young people interested in mathematics. This is also a challenge we take seriously. The Abel Prize was established not only to honor great mathematicians, but also, and I quote from the statues, 
to help boost the status of the field of mathematics in society and stimulate children and youth to become interested in mathematics. The Norwegian Academy, through the Abel Board, has initiated and is supporting a number of activities in this direction. The Abel Prize Committee has four international members in addition to the Norwegian Chair, presently Helge Holden. The international members are appointed by our Academy based on nomination from the International Mathematical Union and from the European Mathematical Society. We are grateful for the two organizations for their cooperation and support. In just a very short period of time, the Abel Prize has become one of the great international prizes in mathematics, with members from many countries and nominated by key international mathematics organizations. The Abel Committee deserves much of the honor for the status of the, the prize has attained. I would like again to thank the committee for this important and demanding work. I would like to end this words with these words, and I hope that you all will enjoy our symposium here today, Abel in Paris. Thank you all, and have a great symposium.